State your name, age, and gender. Gary Leon Ridgway, 52, male. Can you describe your childhood? I was born on February 18, 1949 in Utah, but I was raised in Seattle. I was also the middle child of three and often got into violent arguments with my parents, mainly my mother. I wet the bed until early teenage years, which earned me more embarrassment from her. I also had conflicting feelings of sexual attraction and anger towards her. My father would often tell me stories of his co-workers engaging in sexual intercourse with corpses. I had an IQ of 82 and had to repeat a grade twice. Did you have any early indicators of a murder, like obsession with starting fires or animal cruelty or wetting the bed at an unacceptable age? I actually wet the bed until early teenage years. What is the highest level of education that you received? My highest level of education was high school. I wasn't very smart, so school was tough for me. Did you graduate high school? Yes, I did graduate from high school. I graduated at the age of 20. Did you go to college? No, I didn't go to college. Instead, after high school, I enlisted in the Navy. Can you give us a description of your work history? I was in the Navy, and then after four months, I contracted gonorrhea from prostitutes and was honorably discharged. When I got home, I landed a job as a truck painter and worked there for the next 32 years of my life. Prior to the murders, would you say you had a healthy social life? Yes and no. In high school, I had lots of friends and was pretty well liked by everyone. Once I got older and was back from the Navy, I was more kept to myself. My first wife and second wife and I would stay inside the house often. Were you married with children? I was married three times and had one child named Matthew. I had him when I was married to my second wife. Did you live alone? No, I didn't really ever live alone. When I wasn't married, I had girlfriends and I obviously had the prostitutes that I killed too. Did you have many friends? I was well liked among my student body when I was in school. Once I got out of school, I kept more to myself. That is until I married my third wife. I took up hobbies like gardening and did lots of yard work. I was also a very religious guy. I would do door to door and read people part of the Bible. When before she and I were married, I moved into a new house and didn't really want to go outside. Can you explain to me the first time you killed? Well, my first attempted murder was when I was 16 years old. I found a six-year-old boy and led him into the woods. There, I threw him on the ground and stabbed him through the ribs into his liver. I didn't get caught for this, though. When I walked away, I said to the boy, I always wondered what it felt like to kill someone. My first murder went something like this. my son. Oh, he's so cute. You want to get him? Yeah. So how old is your kid? Uh, in that picture, he is like three, but now he's nine. He's pretty cute. So, uh, where are you taking me? Taking you to my special spot. Take everyone here. Look, we're here. Okay. Who were the victims? My victims were primarily young women. I largely targeted prostitutes and runaway teenagers. Why did you select them and where and how did it happen? I chose victims that were in vulnerable situations, so they would be easier to lure in. 
Prostitutes are especially calm around strangers and runaways are alone and afraid in foreign situations. The perfect victims. What was your motivation? I killed prostitutes because I thought I was doing you guys a favor. You guys can't control them, but I can. I hate prostitutes, so I was just helping the police get rid of them. How many people would you admit to killing? I've killed roughly 75 to 80 women. Can you explain your signature? I left the bodies along the Green River Bank and would leave my victims naked and would place them together in groups. Do you know why you needed to do this? The victims that I left naked, which were most of them, I would go back and rape them. I'm new to this case, so can you tell me how you were captured? I was arrested on November 30th, 2001 after being linked to killing four women. What specific evidence was used to lead to your arrest? I was first arrested on prostitution charges, and the police thought I could be a suspect in the Green River killings. So they took my hair and saliva samples and made me take a polygraph test. Luckily, I passed this and was no longer a suspect. Since they still had my samples, they found DNA at one of the crime scenes, and they easily linked it to me. Did you eventually stand trial, or did you take a plea bargain? I pled guilty and was charged with 48 counts of first-degree murder. I also claimed to have killed 90 women in total. Were you sentenced to life in prison, or did you receive the death penalty? I was given multiple life sentences with no possibility of parole. When are you scheduled to be executed, and how? I'm not scheduled to be executed. The reason I got out of this was because I pled guilty to 48 murders and told them that there could be more because I've killed so many women that I have a hard time keeping them straight. Since I killed so many women and the police wanted closure for the parents, they said that they would not put me on death row if I helped them find the burial sites.